I have an apology. I've been telling you how to do this all wrong. I've got no idea when this feature was introduced, but I've only just found it. And it might well change the way you do digitizing. So, in the past, I've said when you've got a polygon and you want to draw another polygon that matches up against it perfectly, your first option is the snapping tool and you can draw and you can snap and you get your new shape and there's no gaps in between the other way is tracing so you can just click left and again you've got your new shape that matches perfectly with no gaps in between you've got a slightly more complex situation and you try tracing sorry snapping you've got a lot of clicks to do if you were to do tracing as well as snapping you'd have less clicks Even then, sometimes it does go wrong. What I found is a new option. A little bit hidden. No idea when this was introduced. But I've certainly never spotted it before. I'm a little bit embarrassed by that. So, if you're going to your snapping tool here, and you click the snapping options, And configuration and this is where the magic happens select the layer that you're snapping with and then select the avoid overlap option now you can basically just draw through click 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 around here and it is perfect <laughs> I can't believe I didn't know about this um, if anyone else knew about this, then why didn't you tell me? <laughs> um, I'm going to have to find out when it was introduced now, because I can't believe I've not been using this, and I think it's going to be very helpful for you all.